everyone welcome back to my channel today now this is the subject of today's topic so please enjoy and hopefully you'll learn a little bit about our nail structures this is a nail broken down into what entails in everybody's nails so we have our cuticle area which also involves your epinicium. We have a nail root, which is called a matrix. Basically your matrix produces your nail and it grows. Your lunina, if, that, if that's how you pronounce it, is your half moon crescent shape of the top by your cuticle area. Your nail walls are there. And your nail groove is at the very tip of your nail. We have a nail bed which has many um, vessels, full of vessels and everything in to feed the nail. We have a nail plate which has many layers of nail plate within that we have your free edge now your free edge we are allowed to file cut down and shape we have your hypernicium which is just there if you look on your own nail there's your hypernicium this is a very fragile part of your body to be honest with you so um we should look after this part as well. So this is your nail broken down into what is involved in your nail. And each one of these are really important to, to maintain and keep um, healthy and to look after them. So I will go through each one and what they need. This is my diagram that I had to fill out and this is part of the exam of what each one of these are. As you can see, I have correctly labelled that. Now here's some factors for your nail. nail. Nails grow at the end of the fingers and toes guided by your nail walls. Nails help with picking up small objects. The nail gradually grows over the nail bed until it becomes your free edge. The nail has no blood vessels or nerves, so like hair, they can be cut without bleeding. The pink nail plate gets its color from its vessels that pass beneath it so your nail bed finger nails grow almost twice as fast as your toenails fingernails take six months to grow your toenails takes 12 months to grow the function the nail plate protects the living nail bed in both its fingers and toes Your free edge, which is there, extends beyond the fingertip. This part can be filed, which we all know. White in appearance with no nail bed underneath it. The function of your free edge is to protect fingertips, toes and hypernicium. Can be shaped when filed. So there is your function of your edge we are at your matrix now guys and your matrix is at the top of your nail or the bottom whichever you want to call it it's by your cuticle area as you can see there and this is the information you need and if you want to look at it on here which you can see is those little things there they're your cells that produces your nail to grow 
so it produces new nail cells and they're your cells it's just showing you that um, as we come to our nail bed this is our nail bed and why we have it and what the function of our nail bed is for to nourish and to protect so you know it gives you a good insight on what this means it's not a lot of people take our nails for granted but this is the general information that you'll need if you definitely want to go down this route but this is what your nail bed entails as I say it's a crescent shape at the base of your nail and that is what it is as you can see on there Hypernychium it's part of your epidermis under the nail the function is to protect the nail bed from infection preventing dirt and bacteria gathering underneath your plate nail plate and performs a waterproof barrier and as you can see these pictures aren't really good but that is what your hypernychium is about nail walls a lot of people don't realize that these are just as important to the rest of your nail the folds of skin overlapping the sides of your nail it cushions and protects your nail plate and grooves from damage and supports the nail as it grows straight so that is what your nail walls are for and as you can see there is a nail tech um, filing but that's quite interesting because a lot of people don't realize that okay your epinychium which is located at the top we can't really tell on that one so I'll just shove over to this one the epinychium is just there And the functions and everything for that is it's an extension of cuticle at the base of the nail plate the nail plate emerges from the matrix under your epinychium functions are to protect the matrix from infection by stopping dirt and bacteria getting under the nail plate by forming a waterproof barrier so it basically acts very similar to your hypernychium it protects it stops bacteria infections getting in there and it's also waterproof your cuticle area overlapping the epidermis around and extending into the base of your nail it's soft loose and in good condition you can cut um, a little bit away um, you take it you know when you're doing uh, prep and things you can take dead skin away um, so that's good the functions is to protect your matrix nail bed from infection stop dirt and bacteria getting underneath your nail plate by forming a waterproof barrier now this is just the same as your hypernychium and epinychium um, but as you say, you get dead skin from this. So this is what you can remove your excess cuticle that you do no, no longer need. I haven't got my words, you know, this morning. So I do apologize. Um, so, yeah, I mean, again, you can't see much of that picture. But this is the breakdown, guys, to a fingernail or toenail this is your general breakdown of a nail and what the functions are to your nail I hope you enjoyed this um, as it's just an information um, regarding this and I hope it helps someone that's actually doing this course and to make you understand exactly the technology behind just doing someone's nails so 
Thank you, like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!